genome editing is one of those tools, biotechnology tools, you know, which are being used to come up with quick solutions to the problems that we have. I know uh, previously we have been probably engaged in the conventional breeding where we allow natural selection to take its course and then we do a lot of um, um, screening, you know, trials, but uh, this one is very precise whereby uh, if you know what you want to do, then you, you cut and paste and you come up with a product. Genome editing is now becoming um, a new tool, say plant breeding tool, that uh, breeders uh, are now uh, able to access. Because you are very much targeting uh, specific sequences of the genome, uh, it's very fast and it's very easy to manipulate uh, a product. So if you are looking at it, maybe a very good adapted variety, uh, you don't change it that much. Uh, just slightly change it, so it means in that the uh, adaptation is still good and other good things are good in the variety. You have just edited it to solve a specific challenge. We understand the technology and uh, we have we are applying it especially to solve some of the problems like the problem of maize lethal necrosis disease which is a serious problem which needs to be managed and uh, there is no more elegant way to manage it than using the gene editing technology. I call on my fellow scientists in, in Africa to jointly with policy makers in Africa this is a technology that holds the key to solve many of our problems. I find that gene editing has become a, it's becoming a major uh, biotechnological approach to come up with new products. I believe gene editing is going to play a major role. It might even remove the normal uh, modern biotechnology approach of gene transgene. It may likely replace the movement of genes. It may greatly also remove the stigma that is associated with genes because when you do not have the gene of insight, it means it has a relationship with the conventional one.